Uh, so somebody was asking me about best practices around fourth party, and this does come up over and over and over again, is what to do about those fourth parties. So let me start with which ones should you or do you care about? And that's where the concept of what is material to your organization should come into, and into play. So a fourth party, in fact, is a, is, a, is a third party to your third party. That's how they get to be fourth. So when you think about how you segment your relationships and what's important to your different products and services and your core operations, you've already got your kind of internal view of this, the relationship segmentation. So when you're looking at the fourth party, so you are hampered by the fact that you do not have a contractual relationship with them and therefore you have no rights when it comes to looking at their contracts and their controls. So what to do? So I go back to your relationship segmentation and the thinking that goes behind that. So what you want to do is identify what is a material fourth party, a fourth party that could have a big impact on your organization. So the word material is something that your legal department can help you with, right? I, or, you know, legal counsel. And the word material means a lot of different things, but if you can determine what it means to your organization, what does the word material mean? That, and putting it into legal terms, that's something that you can put in a contract, right? So you can put some controls around this in a contract, but that's where you want to start. And I think that it's a good conversation. Start with your legal department and then involve other people who understand risk because it's not just a legal construct. And the question that you want to ask yourself is basically, am I looking for, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the things that can hurt my organization the most. So once you've got a handle on that and you can communicate with your critical third parties the ones you're actually going through this process with, you can ask them to identify the material fourth parties that are essential to the delivery of uh, core services to your organization. So you're not going to be able to do due diligence on the fourth party, as I mentioned, and you're not going to be able to look at those contracts. So now what to do, right? A, you know, it's important to know who they are. You can put them in your database as a material fourth party. So the first thing you might notice is, hey, we're doing business with them directly. Isn't that good to know? And you can just check and see if there are any that either got delisted or prohibited from doing business with your company and what's their risk profile. So you all of a sudden know a whole lot more about material fourth parties than you thought you did. The second thing that you want to know is, is how does that third party, look? how do they go about their third party risk management, right? Are they doing the same kinds of things that you would expect your organization to do? And if they are, and they, you know, they, they, they've got some, some, a good story to tell you about around this, and they've got what looks at like controls to you. I wouldn't spend my time there. I would just assume that yes, you know, in my due diligence on your third-party risk management program, I'm seeing what I expect to see. You are certainly not going to see that in a lot of companies. So my recommendation is, why don't you just move on, accept what they're telling you, and move on to those that do not have this program in place and decide what you're going to do with them. Because that is probably where greater risk lies. And if in fact they are interested in building a third party risk management program, you know, this risk management is not a competitive kind of a thing, generally speaking. I mean, you're not going to give them all your details in terms of how you evaluate risk and the controls, et cetera, but you could sure give them a lot to help them get started. And that means that you can keep an eye on them because you know that they have a very weak program and you can help them build theirs along the way to make it look a lot more like what you expect.